Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Be Well Live. Uh, my name is Mike, I'm here uh, in Athletics and Recreation at Seneca College. Hope you're having a wonderful week and have enjoyed your start up to the fall semester. Uh, so welcome, and today for Be Well Live we're gonna talk about balance, um, and physical balance in particular. And we're gonna break down the difference between dynamic and static balance when it comes to health and fitness, and why they're so crucial for um, just um, practical everyday tasks as well as health and performance. Um, and it's often one of the most overlooked components to health and fitness. Uh, when it comes to structuring your exercise routines, um, we typically don't actively focus on balanced exercises uh, as much. So just here to give you a friendly reminder and show you a couple examples of what you can do to incorporate both static and dynamic balance into your exercise routines and your everyday physical activity, just to be conscious of. All right, so first, like what is balance really? Um, the first thing you probably think of is really standing on one foot or just kind of balancing um, to maintain your center of gravity. And that would be a very good summary of what balance is. Um, and just to be more precise, it's really um, maintaining equilibrium in either static or dynamic uh, in a stable position. So you're controlling your equilibrium, your, your kind of center of gravity, while either uh, on unilateral, so one leg, um, or one limb, or you're doing it even on both, on an unstable surface. So you could be on both feet on an unstable surface like a BOSU ball, or if you're walking on the beach, or some rocks while you're hiking, um, different um, grades of slope if you're hiking up a hill. Um, there's so many different environments and factors that contribute to your balance. So it's not just standing on one leg, <laughs> okay? Uh, and this is obviously helpful for um, body awareness, movement efficiency, joint stability and injury prevention, um, in improving your posture, et cetera, et cetera. There's so many um, fundamental benefits of enhancing your balance and how it contributes to uh, longevity uh, and injury prevention. But less so of the snore fest that I'm talking about uh, is how it can be incorporated into your exercise routine to make it more enjoyable. Um, and here's how you're going to do it. So what you want to do is um, start by working on your static balance. So for example, um, just as a test, do a one leg stance, have your foot slightly lifted off the ground. You don't have to have your knee up towards your chest. Just have the foot slightly off the ground and you're going to try and you're on your dominant side. So if you're right dominant, stand on your right foot and just try to hold that with your hands on your hips, your hands out, or across your body like that. And just try to hold that for about 10 to 30 seconds and you'll start to feel the muscles tensing up and then you'll get a little wobbly as you start to raise that knee up or behind you, okay? So you wanna practice your static balance first, get that down, feel more comfortable, gain the competency of doing static balance before you do the fun, exciting stuff like, um, on a ball and incorporating squat movements or jumping uh, more athletic explosive movements that involve balance. So the dynamic balance, a good test is what we call the Y test where you can do a three point touch with your foot. So if you're just standing up, uh, I'm gonna start on my non-dominant side. So I'm balancing on my left, take my right foot. I'm gonna tap my toe a few inches in front, bring it back without touching it to the floor, touch it a couple feet out to the side, bring it back, and then a foot or two behind you. And you're gonna to try to maintain your equilibrium control um, while doing those three point touches. So front, side, back. And you're gonna kind of repeat that until you get more comfortable. And your muscles are gonna be working hard to stabilize. And you will have that kind of wobbly motion going on, but that's completely normal. So the three point touch, and then you switch to your dominant side, front, side, and back. That will be an introductory dynamic balance um, assessment. If you want to get even more um, involved with your dynamic balance and incorporate some functional training movements, you can do a Romanian deadlift or a single legged deadlift. Um, I'm going to use a dumbbell here. And what I'm going to do is, uh, if you can see me hopefully, is I'm going to bend over, bend to the front knee. I'm going to set down this dumbbell on the floor. I'm going to return to a standing upright position and I'm gonna to try to reach down and grab the weight. So I'm balancing on one side of my body. I'm gonna pick up that weight nice and controlled and return. Okay, so a lot of dynamic balance is involved. 
also a lot of coordination and focus to pick up the object without falling over. So those are some examples of dynamic and static balance, how to incorporate them into your daily uh, exercise routine and physical activity, the importance of them. Hopefully you can incorporate those, give them a try, important for everyone. Thanks, be well everyone, cheers.